Greetings YouTube, today we're taking a look at Viking World, The Age of Seafarers and Sagas by Robert uh, McLeod. And I picked, apparently picked this up uh, for a dollar at uh, Goodwill. And I believe I picked this up strictly for um, its uh, doing this video, uh, but uh, it is also dedicated uh, to uh, someone named Megan who apparently didn't appreciate the book as much as maybe she should have. <laughs> Because there's the uh, there's the blurb. Um, contents: Introduction, the Age of Vikings, exploring the world, Viking attack with an explanation point, a life in Viking times, sixty legends and lore. Um, so this is very much like an introduction to this whole topic for kids. Um, it's it's going to have. Low on low, low on reading, big on uh, illustrations of uh, structures and scenery, and uh, you know the, their their technology. Here we have a timeline, which is kind of cool. I love I love a good timeline, um, particularly if it has illustrations. Here we have the known area that Vikings uh, did in fact uh, dwell in, and and where they the, the sea routes that they used. A uh, bit of bit on uh, Viking history. Uh, exploring the world because they were world traders. Vikings got around. Um, the discussions of the Viking ship, which allowed them to be world traders. Uh, discovering new lands. Well, no. For Vikings, they were discovering new lands, but there were always people where they landed because the people had been there in some cases for 15,000 years, uh, like in North America. Um, or at least 15,000 years, probably longer. Leif Erikson, a famous... Viking merchants and traders, and I'm really happy that they actually had a section on here about the Vikings being merchants and traders, and not just raiders, um, because they really were great merchants and traders. But they do talk about the whole Viking warrior, uh, the whole Norse warrior thing, because they were raiders as well. Um, because uh, sometimes it's just easier to go take somebody else's stuff than to make your own. Um, the Terror of Europe. Yep, yeah, that's, that's an apt description of them. A uh, nice splash page of uh, a Viking longship. Eric Bloodaxe. That sounds. Uh, that's a nice illustration. Um, it sounds uh, thoroughly uh, terrifying. Then we have a discussion of armor. For example, their classic uh, shield, which would have been held by a grip in the back. There would have been a, a board that goes all the way across and the grip in the back, and that was the boss that laid you, gave you space for your hand. They were not strapped to the arms, they were held in the hand. Um, and we have repar uh, weaponry, talking about uh, bows, spears, battle axe, knives. So that particular knife design is a later design. I don't, uh, the, the Vikings probably would have been carrying, the Norse would have been carrying something closer to a Skramasok, but that's just me. The Viking swords, um, life in Viking times, Jarls and Carls. Um, if you played Skyrim, you know those terms. Uh, farms and towns, because they were farmers as well. Uh, a description of the Viking home and what it would have looked like with a, a nice uh, exploded diagram. Uh, family life, feasting and fun, because they did like to party. Uh, Viking crafts, because they were known for leaving behind some very cool. Um, artwork, both uh, in items and in uh, carvings on, on uh, stones and cemetery, uh, funeral areas and stuff. The Viking universe, the mythological descriptions of, of how the Vikings viewed the multiverse. Um, the uh, Yelling Stone, Sagas and Legends, which is kind of cool. Um, then we have the Midgard Serpent. That's a, that's a, that's a big serpent. <laughs> Well, he was supposed to girdle the, the globe, so I guess he would have to be kind of big. Uh, the Viking classic Viking uh, funeral, which probably I, I was curious, how many times were Vikings actually burned in their ships at sea? Do we have a record of that? I don't know. Is the is is the myth greater than the reality? Um, and then we have. The last Vikings, talking about the end of the Viking era as Christianity moved in and their culture changed. Though the Viking spirit, I hear, runs deep in that in, the, in that region of the world, even to this day. So this has been uh, 
The Viking World and the Age of Seafarers and Saga by Robert McLeod.